Welcome back. Today I'm going to be drawing a happy turkey for Thanksgiving. So let's get started. I'm first going to start with the eye. So I'm going to make a line here, kind of diagonally, and then a curved line up and around for the shape of the eye, and then a curved line inside here for the pupil. And we can leave a little curved line there and then fill it in, and that little curved line will be for the highlight. All right, leaving a little bit of space diagonally, I'm going to make a line curved vertically, and then I want to give him a smile, so underneath I'm going to make a curved line, kind of slant it up, and then back in toward that first line we started. A little line here for the detail, and then we'll make the piece that hangs down along his beak, and curve it up and back and around. All right, let's make the shape for the head. The shape for the head is just going to basically be a curved line around, and a wavy line as it continues down just past this piece. Then we're gonna curve it in and kind of double it up, meaning this piece again, just a little lower. Essentially, this is gonna be a large circle for the body, but I'm gonna stop at a couple of points to add some other pieces. So a curved line around, I'm gonna stop here like I had said, and add the wing. So that's gonna be a curved line on a diagonal. So it's kind of slanted, and then I'm gonna make a wavy line coming across and connect it. Okay, let's continue with uh, the body again, essentially being a circle. So we're gonna stop here, and I'm gonna drop down kind of a, almost like a square shape that's open. So open on the top, curved across, Again, another square shape for the start of the other leg. That's open on the top. And let's round out the rest of the, the circle here for the body. Let's add a detail line in here for some more feathers. That kind of almost like on this contour of a curve. We're going to kind of overlap into the wing and then continue it on the other side. All right, let's come down here to the legs. It's just going to kind of be a bent line that comes down an out, and then an outline for the feet, bumpy line for the tip of the feet here, underneath, and then a curved line here for kind of this, uh, this back toe, I guess. And we'll bring the line up to parallel it, and then back in toward where we had started. Same thing on this side, slanted line, and then bent line line out, and then a bumpy line underneath for the feet, curved line up, and then a curved line out for this back kind of toe here, and then parallel it up in toward this open square. All right, let's make some feathers coming around. So this is just gonna be kind of like some rectangular shapes, and as you go, it's almost like the sun where you wanna kind of contour it toward um, the circle that we have made. So kind of just come all the way around as you're working. I'm going to stop here because what I'm going to do is add the extended feathers for um, the wing. So one and two, and you can see how I'm kind of overlapping them. So I stop here, I leave it open, and then a third one, and then we'll just connect it back up. Three, okay, so we have this bump line, and then let's continue this bump line one more down here. All right, so now I'm gonna add some extended feathers for the back, and again, these are just larger pieces that we just made here that just extend up. There's two ways to do this. You can kind of make them individually as they wrap around, almost like these large rectangular shapes, or just stay up top here and curve it around and start to just make the, the um, kind of indentation here, and you don't have to go all the way down, and then you can just add some detail lines. So that's up to you and how kind of you want to um, make that part. I'm going to extend these slightly out as we come around toward the wing feathers and then just wrap it back in here. All right, and that is going to conclude the drawing portion for our happy turkey. Let's get into adding some color. Um, so I'm first going to start with a, a umber color and I'm going to fill in this part of 
the turkey's body. I'm gonna just start to outline some areas. So we're working basically with a muted palette here. Um, I'm working with some brown colors and then lighter brown colors, kind of like a tan color. Uh, and you can switch it up and however you wanna work with your, your colors, make it more kind of playful and cartoon-like. Um, so it's totally up to you. Colors determine a lot and also the expression. So I wanted to kind of keep it fun with more of a cartoonish type face and the smile here um, and colors as well. So I'm kind of going half cartoon kind of colors and then half kind of more realistic. Okay, and I'm just kind of starting to fill in the spaces where I want this uh, brown color to be. So again, this is gonna be the, the body color. And then I just wanna broaden up this line here, this outline line, so that I can go back and just start to fill in some space with with the broader part of my <clears throat> my marker. Just using this broad marker stroke, I'm just going to start to fill in this open space here. And again, always following that contour, as you see it kind of curves around, so I'm just using my marker in that direction. And I'm going to go into a kind of a tan color um, and fill in this section of his feathers. So this is actually technically called burnt umber, uh, burnt ochre, uh, excuse me. I used before this was burnt umber. So it's kind of in the kind of uh, earth tones that we're sticking with here. I'm also going to color in these, some of these feathers are going to be this color as well. I'm going to do maybe a pattern in the back here, so I'm going to do every uh, third one. Maybe I'll fill in this one off of the, the wing here. Extend out. Let's get into more of a orange color. I'm gonna fill in another feather here. It's kind of like an, a lighter orange. toward a yellow and this is called a yellow ochre and I'm going to fill in the beak as well as the legs and the feet.
And let's take it back and throw on a couple more of these feathers. Now I actually wanted to use this uh, light umber for these feathers. I forgot to, to fill these in before. And now we're just going to use a more of a reddish color. This is called Carmine Red. And I'm going to fill in this feather, the, the remaining feathers. And I'm also going to fill in the part for his head. Straight for his head, I'm going to outline it first. around the beak and just start to fill that in and also around the eye just be careful not to get any color into the eye area because that's where the contrast happens and we want to leave that really nice and open there and, and uh, very neat looking and just fill this on down And that's going to conclude the drawing for our happy turkey. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. It's a lot of fun. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.